Hello and welcome to my channel, Indigo Goddess 1111. I want to thank you all for being here, for joining me, for watching this video, for like, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and all your guys' beautiful messages of support. Um, I truly am blessed to get to do what I do, and I thank you for um, walking this journey of faith I have started walking on, and you guys all, in your own way, make it that much more beautiful. So thank you for coming to my channel. Um, I am going to bring you a special twin flame reading for Valentine's Day. Um, this is messages from the runner. So if you are in separation from your twin, this uh, reading is for you. It still will not resonate with everybody though. So take what fits your situation and leave what don't. So um, with that, we're going to get started. Angels, what messages do you have for the chaser in the twin flame journey? What messages do you have for them? What advice? What, what do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know, angels? Okay. All sorts of them here. Okay. So the first one that came out of the deck was retreat. It's time from you, for you to disconnect from the world. So um, what the angels are saying here is that it's time for you just to take a step back, um, work on yourself. Love yourself first. You, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So before your twin can come back anyways, you have to be fully healed. You have to love yourself first. They're also saying to pay attention to the red flags. So there are signs that are cautioning you in this journey. The next card is reconciliation. Someone from your past is going to be returning to your life. And the last one the angels want you to know is divine timing is at work with your love life. So they are worth waiting for. So sometimes we just have to be a little patient and that's hard to do. <laughs> We're a society of instant gratification, so we don't want to wait for anything. But um, the universe is at work is what spirit is telling me and they will be back to you very soon but you have to make sure you are healed and ready for them as well um, also make sure you're eating right um, spirit is saying taking care of your body not putting um, anything in it that's not supposed to be try to eat as clean as you can and drink lots of water our body is a temple and it needs to be in the best shape it can be and be well taken care of. That's what spirit is telling me. So we're going to get started now. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have from the runner of the twin flame, uh, twin flame relationship? What messages do you have for the chaser from the runner? What does he want his twin to know? Okay, I'm hearing one more shuffle. Okay. What does he want his oops? What does he want his twin to know? What does the runner want his twin to know? Okay, we'll start with this. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay. So your twin has been going through some emotional healing of their own. They had taken a step back. They had walked away and, um, 
have started to heal themselves is what I'm getting here. Why is this five of swords here from the chaser? Oops. Why is this five of swords here? What's the runner want the chaser to know? Wow. I am just simply amazed because um, your clarifying cards came out the same as the regular cards. And you guys just watched me shuffle. That's amazing. Um, the bottom of the deck is a Wheel of Fortune, however. So things may not be going your way at the time, at this time. Um, but back to this. So he is preparing to walk away from whatever it is that is keeping you two apart. Um, for some of you guys, they are in karmic relationships that they are ending. Um, marriages, uh, family, friends, whatever it is they have to walk away from. The runner is preparing himself to lay his swords down and walk away. It's being clarified by the page of wands. So um, this is a very... You're going to start getting messages, um, little messages, uh, very premature in wedding, what you want the relationship to be, but they are going to reach out soon and um, in the form of a text message, email, um, something along those lines. It's in writing, I'm seeing. He wants you to know, though, that he knows that this relationship is divinely guided now. He's been spiritually awakened. The divine masculine has gone, who, let me say that again. The divine masculine is more times than not the runner. Um, in this reading, this, um, these group of cards, this is from the divine masculine runner, but he wants you divine feminine to know that he has been awakened to this connection. He just went through a huge spiritual awakening in the last couple weeks, um, major downloads. So he now knows what this connection is, this relationship is, and he knows it's being, um, divinely guided and he is working really hard to um be able to learn how to use the tools the magician has he knows he can create this he's just trying to figure out how now huge awakenings in the divine masculine he is however mourning the loss of what he failed at in life before the karmic relationship that um he has ended he um, feels sorry for the three cups over here on the ground. Even though he is, uh, he does realize there's two cups behind him. He's just sad for the hurt he caused, um, whoever it was that he was um, together with, and and caused her so much disharmony and hurt and heartache. So he is mourning the loss of that relationship, but not in the way you think. Not like he wants her back, but more like. I wish I would have done things different or I wish um, she, she could move on without holding on so tight because she's not making it easy for the, him to leave. Um, his family is important to him, his children I'm getting. Um, but he realizes that this is, this is going to happen. This is a past life relationship, soulmates, uh, twin flames, but he is um, trying to get things figured out with the karmic partner and his children. He is, however, finding and regaining balance to his life again. He is overcoming addictions. Um, I see that for this group of you, this is not everybody. Your divine masculine has gone through like a program, like a cleansing program. He is fighting that addiction. He is fighting that devil. Um, unfortunately, it's still at the forefront, but he is learning to get balance back to his life. He knows he has a choice to make. And he is preparing himself to walk away. He knows he's got to make that choice. The magician is here again for the second time in this reading. And this time it's being clarified by the five of wands. So, he is dealing with internal battles within himself. 
he knows he has the tools to do this. He knows he has the tools to make it work, but he's holding back for some reason. Um, the Queen of Swords is here, so um, he could be married. He could be leaving this person. And um, he's trying to get the rest of his life in balance and in order before he returns. Um, this Queen of Swords energy, um, I feel, is an ex-spouse or soon-to-be ex-spouse, a karmic partner that he is leaving. And he's trying to get his affairs in order and balanced before he, before he comes back to you. But the good thing is, is he is coming back. The world is here in this reading. So he is finishing up this transition in his life, this phase in his life. And he is um, coming back. And he is going to no longer leave you out in the cold, no longer feel abandoned. But to me, this is winter. You see it's snowing. It's cold. Um, so to me, this is telling me that this transition, this phase is ending in the time of winter, which is what we're in right now. So very soon, right on the horizons. Does the runner have any other messages for the chaser? Does the runner have any other? Woo. And three wanted to come out and that one. Okay. So he is putting in a lot of work. He's working on himself. Um, he is healing. He is um, trying to find balance, like I said. And he knows that you're the queen. He knows that he wants you. He knows what he has to do, who he wants to be with. He's just trying to get out of this relationship with the mother of his children with causing as least amount of harm as possible. He is right now in a time of recovery, in a time of recuperating, uh, becoming healthy, mind, body, and soul. Like I said, for this group of you, they were dealing with an addictions issue, um, but they have been getting major downloads. So it is going to happen soon. And here's the five of pentacles again. Now with this card, I'm also hearing that the, the runner is fearful of financial troubles when leaving the spouse, but this does end in divorce and the, um, the runner will return to you because he knows that you are the path. You are the one he wants to walk this path with. There's no question in his mind. He is no longer going to be defensive or putting up walls towards you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this, um, the runner is going to come in and give you an offer. Um, it may not be much, but it's all he has. He is going to offer you everything he has. And he's going to ask you to walk this journey with him, to take this path. Because you are his soulmate and twin flame. And his emotions and his love for you just overflow to the point where you are the only choice. You've, you've always been the only choice and you'll always be the only choice is what I'm hearing. So definite, definite, um, positive messages for you guys. That is so beautiful. Any other messages? Spirit? Yep. Spirit's just saying it's time for you to, um, get out of your headspace because they are coming back to you and they are offering you new beginnings. So there's no reason to feel um, trapped or abandoned. And he is going to be getting out of that feeling as well. So I'm going to grab a couple of advice cards here from the um, Hidden Realm. Spirit angels and helpers of the Hidden Realm, what messages or advice do you have for the chaser and the runner chaser dynamic of the twin flame journey oh nice oops one wanted to pop out there but it never did there we go okay so your first card was a spiral dancer and this is um uh, circuitous root and perception. 
which with this card, it is just telling you that you may feel like you're going in circles. You may feel like what you're doing is all for naught, but that isn't the case because there's a million paths to take and still come out at the same destination. So you may not, um, it may not be the path that you would have chosen to get there, but the end result is the same. You two will come into union and not everything is always what it seems. Not everything is what it is perceived as. So make sure you don't um, jump to conclusions and just go with the flow and let the universe take you on the, um, the one path that is marked out for you two. The second one is preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual, the altar priestess. This card is so exciting to me because um, to me, this is what happens, the last card before Twin Flame Union. So um, they are saying to begin getting ready, prepare for your Twin Flame, pray for your Twin Flame, and um, you know meditate. Ask the universe for it. Tell them you're ready. Tell them you're ready to bring this in. But do your sacred rituals because they are so close. The last one is the ringmaster of scrutiny, which is discernment, clear vision, and details. And this is just saying when you ask the universe for what you want, tell him what you want. Make sure you are clear, precise, and give every detail because otherwise you're going to be careful what you wish for. Um, let the universe know you're ready for this twin flame union and make sure that you are very specific on what you want. So that's all I have for you guys for your mid-February Twin Flame reading. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of February. Um, once again, thank you guys for coming to my channel. Um, I appreciate you more than you know. And I am so very thankful that I get to do this for a living. And um, I want to bless... Ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> I want to wish you guys a beautiful rest of the month. And God bless you all.